Okay guys, today on Chris Goes What, we're going to install the sink writer. It's the terminator of food. Well, it says it is, but we're not going to do that. No, because the one we got, let's see right here, it is good for pizza pits. The one up from this one is good for shoving a whole turkey down the drain. Bones and all. I would never do that. No, I wouldn't either. But the one under this is just for everyday use. So that's probably all we needed, but we got the peach pit one because it was on sale. I'll leave a link down below, but we're going to install this, show you how it works. Our current uh, garbage disposal is leaking, so we got to fix that. And yeah, it's, a, it's an easy task. Just remember, there's a punch out for the uh, drain to the dishwasher. If you don't punch that out... That's the story. It will cause huge issues. Yeah, it'll leak. Your dishwasher will. It'll you'll just fill all up all over the floor. You'll just fill up with wire, and then uh, it won't work for a while because it has a moisture sensor in there. It's still doing it. If you guys can <laughs> see it, they probably can't see it. See? Yeah, we can't use our dishwasher right now. No, we can't. So y'all stay tuned, and we'll get into the installation of this and our afterthoughts uh, about this garbage disposal. Dealing in everything. That's good. So to get this in, I was, first I spray it with a little PD meat blaster to lube up the tooth. Okay. Oh, so much dead. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you don't touch capacitors. One. Boom. <laughs> he just sees the broom. Ah. Okay, so install your insincorator, the terminator of food. We're gonna need these pair of adjustable pliers, and then they said a screwdriver. Well, I have this and impact with some screwdriver bits. So let's go ahead and get it installed. Okay, so as you can see mine's leaking and uh, to install this you'll need a flathead here or socket. You'll need a socket or flathead here and this unit just twists off. So this is a pretty easy job. So when you open your insecurator, let's open it. I don't think I'm a guitar saying that. Insincorator. Terminator of food. Wow. That is such a cool name. Of course, you'll be able to find this in a link down below if you want your very own Insincorator. But it comes with, I guess, the installation manual and register your Insincorator. Then you have a foamy deal. Then you have this connects to your drain. I may change this out. I don't know. I like this little pluggy dilly. It works better than our pluggy dilly. And uh, you have your insincorator right here. So that's where the hose goes. And then you screw on the uh, drain hose. This is so it will drain into your sewer. And if you this is optional. I guess you can drain it into your cabinet. And then it has some elbow connections, an Allen wrench, and some screws. I'm guessing that's for that. We have another system down below, so hopefully this is operable with our old unit. And there's no power cable. Let's see, what does it come with? No power cable. What the hell? So we're going to have to get the power cable off the old unit. But everything else is here. The power cable plugs it down there. Now let's take out the old unit. <clears throat> so hopefully you can see everything. But the first thing we're going to do is unplug it. Because we don't want to get electrocuted. Then we're going to take our impact. And we're going to start taking off hoses. Be sure you have a bucket available. Because this is going to get messy. Here's our, this goes to our dishwasher, and it's tight enough. Let's 
see nothing come out okay we'll put that over here on that and then we have two connectors right here we'll try to get this side first let me get a wrench for this be right back and the socket for this is 10 millimeter i probably have the only 10 millimeter that I haven't broken yet, impact. Okay, that's off. I'm gonna loose up this side so it slides a little bit. There we go. Holy crap, I'm gonna take off part more of this plumbing. So this is what I'm working with, and I guess I have to take all this apart just to get it off. That's for our wire system. That's for that. I guess it's a great time to clean up the wire system while I'm here. And then this is for this. There we go. That's out of the way. Now it's off. Take this, throw all this in the sink. Oh, yuck. Getting gray water on myself. Yummy. Okay, and then for this, the piece of resistance, you just untwist it. Well, supposedly. And that's not untwisting, so. Ah, I guess the hammer down on there. And there. That is off. Grody. Okay, so I don't know where I need these pliers at. I haven't used them yet. But I'm going to take off the wire. So let me take out electrical connection. This is on the old one. Make sure it's unplugged when you're doing this. Okay. So I'm just untwist these. I can reuse these. There we go. Everything is disconnected. I think that's the ground. I call it ground. Yeah. And now I can take out the wire. I like to it. Okay, now our wire comes out. Trying to build stuff used to walk. I like Milwaukee. But y'all should look up his channel. He's pretty cool. A lot funnier than I am. Maybe not as funny looking. And then bring the new one in. Then I need this. You see everything. Let's see what it comes with here. Bring hose, Allen wrench, gasket, little metal piece, and some screws. I guess they could go down the drain, easy to find them. Same type as I have. So, now I'm going to take this off. And slide this in for our wires. Let's add some more illumination. So pull out these wires right here. I've got this on for my wires. And then you have your ground, a yellow, and a white wire. Really not marked here, so. 
these in here. We're going to connect the ground last because it's the most constraining. Then we'll take and we'll wrap this around. Okay, it's not going. Take this, straighten this out. Sorry, I didn't mean wrap around. I've been doing too much Jeep wiring. My son said, take a break. And the garbage disposal went out. So this is my break. And then you just twist this on. Okay, that's tight. And now we'll take and stick our ground wire on. So shove these back in here. On the Jeep, I'm using all kinds of good water resistant connectors. But this is home wire. This knot is important. Okay. Put this cover back on. Put this wire strain back in. Definitely have to have a wire strain. It's not pulling. And let's see if it works. Do not stick your hands in there. Yeah, good to go. Now we'll install it. Okay, so now that we have this on, let's move this out of the way. We don't need gross water. So you can stick this thing up here. And you turn it until you get it where you want. And you lock it tight. And then this still turns. And that's it. Plug it back in. Make sure it works. And then we'll put the pipes on. See if it turns on. They look some kind of nasty, don't they? But here we go. So, take and stick this guy on first. This will be our placeholder. Let's twist this guy around. That was just gross. What the hell is that? It's just sliding down here. Ah. Gross. <laughs> you know, I don't sound like a girl. Thank you. Then I'm reusing the, the original bolt, bolts. And I hate plumbing. I really do. I'm going to leave everything loose until we get everything fitted in. This still turns, there we go. So we'll turn it on that right there, and that goes up like that. This goes on like this. And then we have a downpipe. It's not a turbo, Chris. Now. <laughs> There we go. Now we can tighten up this side here. Everything else is tight. That's good. You don't have to put too much torque on this. If it leaks, just add a little bit more torque. Also, if you're doing this, make sure you, and you have a dishwasher, Make sure you take the plug out of here, or you're going to have a bad day when you try to use the dishwasher. I made this mistake. So to fix this, you need a hammer and a screwdriver. 
this is also not on the parts list. It's much easier probably when it's not installed. And there, the plug is out, I hope. Let's see what it looks like. Still have a bit of a plug in there, but it's almost out. I think that got it. Plug is out. It will be in the bottom of the garbage disposal. And when you fish that little plastic piece out of your drain, if you do this after you have it installed, look like this. Do it before you install it. So let's put this on. So if you don't have a dishwasher, you don't have to take out the plug. It won't leak. If you do have one, be sure to take that uh, plug out or you'll get the scenario we have. Hey, as you can see, my dishwasher is clearly full of water. I'm going to drain this. Okay, now you can see my dishwasher is clearly draining. If you do have to install a new uh, one of these in your sink because the unit comes with one you will have to get also some plumber's buddy to put around here it's basically like play-doh and you just form it around there and it squeezes in have the water on nothing is leaking nothing over here we are good you feel Got a fill for water, I guess, which it was pouring out, so nothing over here. Okay, so the garbage disposal is in, it works, it works fine. And uh, I'm glad none of my spoons were down there because that's probably how it broke because they kept eating my spoons. Yeah, the last one did, and uh. Yeah, you always check your garbage disposal. I usually stick a, 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 a utensil down there to spin around before I turn it on. I still uh, turn it down there. You don't, you don't turn it on. You just, you know, go down there and make sure there's no spoons and, and really big bones or anything that may come off a plate or something. She's sticking her hands down there in the incinerator, the terminator of things that go down it's not there. On. Yes, but it's still plugged in. You saw I unplugged it. I, you know, I even unplugged it to change the power wire, which is optimal because that would be probably a shocking experience. I still have my fingers. She does have her fingers. But when you're doing this, uh, if you're going to do the entire system, including the, the drain down here, you're going to have to get plumber's tape or plumber's putty. It just goes around and it just squishes and you scrape off the excess. Do we have some? No, because we, we use the original. Oh, okay. So, and the uh, the new plunger fits perfectly and it holds water in, so I'm really happy with that. I didn't have to change it. Never did before. It does now. <laughs> it's awesome. I didn't know that. Okay, yay. And before you install it, it's best to knock out that tab. If you have a dishwasher, for the dishwasher, Unlike I did where I was doing under the sink. That is not optimal. It's your position sucks and uh, then you have to stick your hand down there in the, the finger terminator. Not a fan of that. <laughs> and uh, also this is related to our, what we do is, uh, or what Danielle does is she does cooking. My baby cooks. So but I don't good stick food. stuff down there. No. No. No, he 
this one right here, and our youngest son that still lives here, are the ones that put shit down there. I never do it. Yes, I just I destroyed <laughs> the I guess the last one, or my son did with the silverware. It's chewed up. Probably. Now. Yeah. So, but she makes yummy recipes every week. Go check them out on our blog. We have videos also on our channel, so you can you can look at how we make them. And then if you want the detailed instructions, you go to our blog. That's where she writes all the good uh, the good steps you follow to make the goodness. Yeah, the steps, you know, mm -hmm. like a cookbook. Yeah. And uh, if you like our channel, subscribe. Hit that little bell for an ad reminder. If you like our video, hit the like button. It's down there. It looks something like this. And uh, y'all, please take care. <laughs> Hi. What are you doing behind me? I wasn't doing anything. I know <laughs>